Wow, what a bright and beautiful day. What time is it? 8 a.m. 29th of March? You're telling me I've been sleeping for over two months? Shit. Welcome back everyone to the second episode of the survival series, finally. I'm sorry for the long wait on this one, I haven't been too motivated to work on this series, but I finally decided to create this next episode. Once again, I will let you guys know that you can join the exact server I'm playing on, IP is in the description. Now you might notice that there's a brand new mine entrance, and also a pathway leading up to it as well, and that's all stuff that I filmed for this episode, but unfortunately lost the footage for, because I'm an idiot and deleted it. But yeah, we pretty much just made this simple mine entrance, dug all the way down to the new diamond level which I can't remember what it is it is way too far this took like like 10 minutes to dig down it's it's a bit crazy and now uh, we did actually end up finding some diamonds pretty quickly you'll notice I have seven so let's start off this episode by doing my least favorite thing ever going to the nether I want to get some blaze rods to eventually find the end and I just want to get this crap done and out of the way so I'm gonna go craft myself a diamond pickaxe mine some obsidian and make a nether portal Wait, what? You can craft a flint and steel like that? I thought they had to be like diagonal. The hell? You can craft it anywhere, bro. You fucking little shit dog. Yeah, you want some too, mate? Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, oh, we got another contender up over here. All right, mate, you want some too? Oh, shit. gamers well we're pretty much kitted and, and ready to go into my least favorite place the nether so let's just dive right in i guess right here we are god i hate it so much oh my god there's a there's a big boy over there okay all right so top priority right now is find the stronghold fortress whatever it's called second priority get the hell back into this portal and out of this hell hole what the hell? Someone's been here. Someone has made a scaffolding. Okay. Well, that's a bit unfortunate because it means that if we find a stronghold around here that someone else has probably already found it first, which uh, one of the downsides of playing on a public server, unfortunately, but it is what it is. It looks like that might be a bastion over there as well. We could probably go check that out. I don't even know if it's worth wasting my time here. I feel like it has already been excavated to the max, but uh, we'll check it out, see if they left any goodies for us. Oh no, not these bastards. Oh, I should have made a diamond sword. That would have been really good. Uh, oh, there's actually some stuff in here. Hell yeah. Got some bones. That's really good for freaking um, our farms later on. and get some good bone meal from that. Got some sick boots with soul speed. That might come in handy. What about in this chest? Gold sword. Don't really want that. More magma cream. And uh, just pretty much just garbage. Oh my god, dude, I thought I just fell. That just gave me freaking butterflies. All right, let's head up over this side. Maybe there's some more chests up here or something. Oh, there's some chests. What have we got in here? Block of gold, soul speed, that's kind of crap. A bunch of nuggies, we can probably convert them into gold later. Oh, some ancient debris. Hell yeah, dude. Our first step to getting some netherite tools. So let's just keep going and uh, hopefully we find the stronghold, fortress. God damn it, I'm never gonna call it the right thing, I swear to god. Alright, looks like I've come across some kind of wasteland of like broken portals everywhere and like this whole structure over here. I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, this is obviously just the main area where everyone ends up in the nether or something. So our odds of finding the fortress with active spawners is becoming less and less likely, but yeah, we might just have to keep going and hope for the best, I guess. One eternity later. Oh, it has been so long. I hate this place so much, but we finally found it. Holy mother of God. It's an absolute miracle. Uh, God, what the hell? I'm not sure what's going on here, but thank God, dude, we fucking found it. Let's get everything we need and get the hell out of here. Oh, mate, is that what I think it is? Jesus Christ, this place is an absolute labyrinth. Now it's time to not die and uh, try and get at least maybe 10 blaze rods. Five blaze rods, five to go. All right, there we go. We actually got 11, a little bit overkill, but yeah. Now I'm gonna save the coordinates of this place real quick, just so in case if I need any more blazes, I can come back. And uh, yeah, with that, now let's head back to the portal. 
Okay, we made it back with a pretty nice little haul. We've got our 11 blaze rods, we've got a bunch of gold as well, and, and hopefully all the stuff we'll ever need in the nether. I don't want to go back anytime soon. So yeah, let's just go ahead and chuck all of this stuff away. All right, and next up, I want to go ahead and create a barn outside so that we have a nice safe space to store our animals and our food. So let's head outside and start some terraforming. All right, so I chose this spot right here outside my base, which meant I had to do quite a bit of terraforming and flattening out and stuff like that. Then it was on to placing all of the outlines of the pillars. Then extending those pillars up to their full height and connecting them all up in the places where they should be connected. And then it was time to create the roof. So I started off with the trims and then branched them out into the full roofs and then created the trims on the opposite sides as well. And then I went up and started on the top roof as well. Now with the roofs done, it's time to create all of the wall designs. Heading inside, it is now time to create all of the interior. I couldn't really figure out a nice spot to place some storage, so I just added a bunch of barrels above, which should be more than enough storage. And then it was on to replacing all of the floor with coarse dirt and also some stone bricks for the pathway area. I'm not sure why I didn't do this at the beginning as it would have been way easier, but yeah. And now heading outside, it was time to finish off the build by creating a fence outline for the farm area. Alright, and there's our barn all completed. The next thing I want to go ahead and do is link up our main pathway up to the entrance of the barn. So let's go ahead and find a spot here on the path to branch off of. I'm thinking maybe one or two blocks spaced away from it, just so we're not like straight in line with it, but maybe so we have to branch off a little bit to go there. So probably started off right here and I forgot to grab some slabs. So we're just going to go ahead and do that later. So let's just place in our stone bricks like this. We'll continue to dig out a pathway all the way up along this way. Now while I'm doing this, just to let you guys know, I did go ahead and destroy a bunch of grass outside over there, kind of far away, because I want to keep the grass that's close to me all there, because it looks nice. And yeah, we found 41 seeds. I don't think that's enough to fill up the area in here, but we'll just kind of, as we get more seeds, we'll fill it more up. All right, so I'll act as if this pathway is going to continue going this way, or it'll probably end up actually curving over this way. So we'll just leave it like that for now, and then let's connect it up to the brand new barn right here. I'm also probably gonna go ahead and texture this pathway with maybe some stone and andesite. I'll probably do that off camera just because it's a bit boring to watch. But yeah, now that our barn is now linked up with our pathway, let's head inside and start off our farm area. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear all of this snow off and also replace this snow with some dirt. And the good thing about having these fences as fence gates, I can leave wherever the hell I want and just head back up with a shortcut up to my base. Hell yeah. Okay, now with all of that done, it's time to go ahead and add in our water. And I'm hoping that these two spots right here are going to be enough for the whole farm. Because this from here is kind of like, yeah, it's probably not going to reach over here. But if not, we can always put some water underneath this log or something so that we have like max space in all of the farm area. 
All right, so let's go ahead and chuck our water in right here and close that off. Same on this side. And now let's just go ahead and till all of this land and hopefully it goes nice and moist over here. And uh, these are, these things are just, God damn it, they're so annoying. Oh, it is spreading all the way over here. So hopefully it reaches here. I feel like it's not going to, but yeah, we'll see. All right, sweet. It looks like the water actually does reach all the way over here from this water source, which I didn't think was going to be possible, but thankfully it is. So now the next thing I want to do is go ahead and just cover up this little gap of water here. And we can do that by placing a stone brick slab there. That way it looks like it's like a full block, but it's actually a waterlogged stone brick slab in there. And that water still acts exactly the same and will reach everywhere the same. Now I guess the last thing to do is go ahead and plant as many seeds as we can. And I remember we actually got a bunch of bone blocks from the nether, so I'm going to go ahead and convert a bunch of those into bone meal and just fill up the rest of the farm because screw it, why not? All right, and there we go. There's the whole farm filled down. So I'm going to go ahead and use this barrel here to store our seeds, and then this barrel can store our wheat. Eventually, when we find carrots, we can change it up and split half of this farm into carrots and wheat and so on and so forth. All right, so that's it for the second episode of the survival series. If you have any ideas for what we should do or create in the next episode, let me know down below in a comment. Also, don't forget to leave a like on the video as it helps me out quite a lot. Cheers for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video.